hi everybody today we are going to do three things we are going to install creative cloud we are going to download or photoshop beta and then we are also going to work with the generative fill now as you can see i want you to be careful choose an adobe site this is an adobe site scroll down and choose this particular one and then you can see the blue link over there this is an adobe site and so just click on the blue link and then it's going to show us how to install creative cloud so i want you to click on it it will begin to download for you now when it's done downloading i want you to click on it for it to begin the installation now it's going to expect us to log in for security reasons Adobe loves to authenticate the person who is trying to get the Creative Cloud and make sure that the person is legible from the right country and also is of age and all these kind of stuff he wants to get the accurate information before giving them the, the, the ability to be able to download anything that they need to download and even have access to the Creative Cloud and so that is what we are going to do. Okay, so it's asking us to sign in I'm going to input my email address and then we would continue. So I'm going to use an email address that I have. And then I'll click on continue. Okay, so now it's telling me I've already tried logging in some time ago. I couldn't finish. Yes. So I'll click and then use my Google mail to log in. It's going to automatically lead us to a browser and then once it authenticates and everything is all right it's going to give us this particular um, interface for us to also look so it's, so i just click on it and then it's going to begin the installation and so let's just let it finish installing and then once it's done we can continue i am also going to skip all these steps i'll click on skip and then i'll keep on skip question again and then just let it finish installing so if you have successfully installed it your screen should look something like mine and then you have to go to apps and then on your left side i want you to scroll down you can see we have updates over here now you can click on it and check which of your softwares needs updating kindly click on it and update it photoshop 2021 does not have the generative fill neither is the latest version of photoshop yet okay but photoshop beta has the generative fill and also have some cool features as well so you can choose to update this one if you have photoshop beta already it will pop up over here for you to also update as well but if you do not have it don't worry i want you to come over here to beta apps click on it and then you see all the beta apps over here all these ones you can install them and then let me see what you can do now you can see i have already installed mine mine is already updated as well yours should be installed over here and then you can click on it now if yours is not installed yours could be try or yours could be buy or yours could be just open it depends on you yours could be installed or update and then click on it follow the steps and then install it now you could see it will be updating over here letting you know it is installing once it's done the button here is going to change from install or from try or from update to open and then you can click on it now the photoshop beta is quite different we'll just wait for it to load for us now you can see even the artwork over here looks quite different from the original photoshop that we use it's because this has more cool features some features that are still in exploration and guys this installs on your pc it's not installed on the cloud it installs on your pc means that you can even use it offline you can use it offline but you cannot use the generative field offline because it has to connect with your creative cloud it basically needs to work hand in hand with the firefly ai and a mistake or an issue in your creative cloud app is going to affect your generative field trust me i have i found that the hard way and i'm going to show you one of the steps that i used personally that helped me so guys you can see photoshop has opened up for us and it's actually showing us what's new the newer features and everything then but now that it's set up like this let's just say we want to drag in an image and then let me drag one of one of 
our artworks over there and then so let's just say this artwork you drag it into photoshop and then you just want to work on it perhaps you want to apply the generative fill the generative fill works when you have two things in place once your internet is in place and then also once you select use the selecting tool or the selection tool the generative tool is automatically um, you know activated the gener that's the generative field is automatically activated but sometimes if you don't see the bar over here that doesn't mean that it's not there you have to go to windows and then you have to scroll down and then go and look for contextual task but once you click on it it will pop up for you now if you still have it grayed out let me just select an area let me just select let me let me see Control d let me pick a square version of it or the rectangular version of it pick and then I just see like this and then it is grayed out and there's nothing to do over there glasses all right and then generate anyway so once once it happens like that and then you can't find the generative field over there there was one thing I, I tried all things and it was not working okay but once I went back to my creative cloud I realized that I was good I realized that behind here there was a little notice over here so I clicked on it Behance, I clicked on it and then it began to show me that I had to input my date of birth and stuff. So I'm telling you, once there's a little issue with Creative Cloud, it one way or the other comes to affect your Photoshop beta. And so guys, make sure you input your date of birth, make sure everything is in place. Sometimes it asks your date of birth and you skip it. You have to go back and then make sure you feel it. Once you don't feel it, you're going to have an issue over there. And so that is what I did. I filled in the, I just completed it. And I think Photoshop really does this or Adobe does this so that people who are using the generative field will be people who are over 18 years old because it's specified explicitly that if you are 18 years and above, that's when you can use it. Okay, so guys, I hope that really helps you. Let me go and check. Okay, so it, it works perfectly. Let me just drag it down. I'll click over here, drag it down. So you can see it works absolutely perfect. It, and so guys, I hope this helps you. If it doesn't help you, I want you to comment down below. Let me know what really is the issue that you are having. And then I'll see how I can help you. And then also, if this worked for you, also comment down below. But most importantly, I want you to give this video a like up. I love you all guys. See you in the next video.